So we're gonna do a little bush hogging today. Nice fall day, only for about an hour. We got some friends coming up from Mass to go hunting out back here on our property. We don't want to fuck them. Cows are all just laying in the sunshine. It's gonna snow tonight, you guys. You better get ready. Then we're gonna go to a birthday party, and I'm gonna bring over the little motorcycle for my niece for her birthday. Maybe she could break a leg or something. Oh, I'm just kidding. But we're gonna do a bush hawking video in a minute. I'll show you what we're gonna do. So we're going out back here. The old bush hog is getting a little tired, and I'll show you in a second. But we were whacking some brush. So after about 10 years of nothing being out here, all the brush is starting to come back. Like this stuff over here on the left. There hasn't been any cows in here. So I had a guy come up with an excavator with this thing on the excavator, a little mini excavator. And, um, he did a bunch, and I was just trying to do some more. We did that, well, I did that last night. But it's kind of hard on the push hog, so really can't do it. I'm just gonna do the grass. If I did all this, you can see some of the stumps and the stuff that I whacked. It was all stuff like this, and it's just a little too much for the push hog. And I'll show you in a minute here. But we're just trying to reclaim this stuff, but we're gonna have to cut this by hand or have that guy come back in with that thing on the excavator. The cows will keep it back if we can get it so they can eat it, but they don't want to eat this stuff. They pushed a lot of that over. Bowls rubbed on it. So we're just going to cut this goldenrod back today. But all this brush I want gone out of here. But like I said, some of that smaller stuff I can do with a brush hog. But bigger stuff is a little too much. So we did this last night in the dark. We're just going to make this side look like this side, but I'll show you my brush hog here. And I got a hydraulic loop on this track. And I got the mix. I have to reseal that shift cover, I guess, because it's leaking pretty good. But you can see this is all cracked. I don't know if you can see it, because it's, yeah. We'll hold that gearbox on. So we're just going to do the golden rod before I rip that out of there. I'm going to take that apart this winter and rebuild it. So we'll do an after video, a before and after and before and after. That's it. 